around 2019, he suddenly called me on my mobile. He was telling me that he feels that his mind is like not in the right form. And then he always think of weird stuff. And then started quarreling with my mom, like saying that, why do you want to divorce, all those things, which my mom didn't actually say all those. It was all from him. He was the one imagining all those things. I managed to book an appointment with KTPH and then they did a scan on my dad's brain. Then after that, it was confirmed that he did have dementia. This is my dad. His name is Hu Shenju, but usually people call him James. when we are staying together, every time he throw tantrum, I would feel very stressful and I will also be lost my temper when that, that happens. So when he actually scold my mom, I can't take it. I will, I will also scold him back. I will say that, why are you doing this? Mom is not, not saying all this and you are the one that's making all this up. So it's like my mom is already crying and then after that, he still keeps scolding her and then become very violent. Some of these symptoms and uh, signs of dementia really depends on the stage and severity of dementia. Some patients may start to develop uh, changes with regards to their personality, mood and uh, behaviour. We do have patients who become more agitated or aggressive. It's also important to know how should we tackle this behaviour when it happens as well because uh, sometimes the uh, way they act out also depends on how we interact with them. Before he was diagnosed with uh, dementia, he was a very introvert person. A lot of things he keep to himself. So only when we talk to him, or maybe the TV showing some shows or what, then he will talk to us. Like he, he likes to share his life stories with others. And during the weekends, he will spend his time reading the papers and every page, I would say. <laughs> He was first admitted because of the uh, swelling in the knee and then uh, we sent him to A&E. When he was in the hospital, he's actually not eating that well also. It might be because we couldn't visit him and then my mum can only go like two hours or maybe less than one hour or something like that and then they will chase her out. When he discharged, uh, we realised that he doesn't want to talk. He also don't want to focus. When I fetch him home from the hospital, I realised that he doesn't want to walk. He just wants to sit on the wheelchair. Patients with dementia are quite used to their routine. If their routine gets disrupted, let's say they get hospitalised, they might not get to see the familiar family members or caregiver who they are used to. They, they get confused very easily and hence, they will have a decline in terms of their cognitive function as well. And number two is really about physical uh, function decline. When they get admitted to the hospital, we have a prolonged bed rest, they will actually lose their muscle mass and also strength as well. So to get him back, I think about one month to get him back onto the normal eating and then start to walk again. That was when I also sourced for wheelchair. We also got a helper to help my mum. So yeah, I was quite thankful because at the time he really needed somebody to support him. He, when he wake up, my mom will make breakfast for him and then after that, uh, around 7 o'clock or so, they will go for their morning walks around the parks, the neighbourhood and then after that, uh, they will go marketing. My dad stays in Yishun and it's a dementia-friendly community. They actually built a lot of facilities for the elderly. My dad used to enjoy the colouring and the drawing. So my mom will bring him to a good life and then he will do his colouring activities. Then my mom will do her exercising or she will just talk with the friends around. La. So they went there for quite a few months. 
1 in 10 Singaporeans above 60 has dementia. By 2030, it's projected that the numbers will increase and it's of concern that we should prep for the future. Dementia-friendly communities is started off with the intent itself. How can we build awareness to support the environment for persons with dementia and their caregivers to live independently or gracefully in their community? Yeah, 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 yeah. The good life, uh, good life uh, you got something now and then. So in this soon, we have embarked on a dementia-friendly community project since 2017. And what we did in 2019 was that we added dementia-friendly features to the HGB blocks, such as in the colours that we use, very bold colours, blue, red for certain classes, and also green. And we also use extra large numbers to indicate the block numbers, and we use motifs that hark back to the older Nisun, such as the rubber plantation, rubber tree, the pineapple plantation, and also a fish for the fish farm. We also have wayfinding features at the pillars around the void decks so that a person of dementia will have a visual reminder of uh, where it is they're going. I can see that the, there are more and more uh, facilities coming up. So for people who maybe just gotten dementia, I think it will be very, very helpful for them. As a person living with dementia, there are three boards all together very close to each other. So that is already visually overstimulating and overwhelming for us, you know, to take in the information. And uh, the abstract art is quite hard for us to comprehend. I was told that one of the pictures is a tree, but when I look at it, it is a person with a very curly head, star, and that is a difficulty when uh, you're trying to cater for people with cognitive disability. We can only have pictures that have maximum three colours. Anything more than that really overload our visual senses. But uh, we are very happy that uh, we managed to come up with you know, things like Angku Koi, the rabbit sweet and Tang Yen. We felt that it will help the local community here feel the connection because the old people are all familiar with all this. And now this block is the Angku Koi block. But then if you walk further down, you will see that there are other same Angku Koi. It's more like to help you to find, am I on the right track? Is this the right way? So it's a double check. As we encounter more of these cases, the more we can adapt what are the things that are necessary to improve the infrastructure and improve the way we engage with the persons with dementia. So now we are staying apart. Once a week I will see them. It's like, make me more treasure the time. Every time I call him and say, you remember me? Then sometimes he will say, Yes, then after that he will say my name. Or sometimes he, he, he will just nod his head, he doesn't want to talk. Yeah, over these three years, I think I have become more patient, I would say. When they are feeling agitated or angry, you shouldn't feel the same way as they are. You have to be calm, you have to try to calm them down. Because if you are angry with them, they are also angry, but they cannot understand you. And the anger in you actually spoil your whole day. So why let the anger spoil your day? Just, just be more, more loving and then yeah, your day will be much better. <laughs>